Hello and thanks for joining us today. My name is Chris Duraska. I'm the Director of Operations for Hylosoft US. I work at a Chicago office. Today we're here to talk to you about two solutions uh, provided by Siemens, the Somatic IT Division for MES, one being the OEE solution, Overall Equipment Effectiveness, and the second one being uh, their Manufacturing Business Intelligence Suite. Hello, I'm David Caparis. I'm one of the delivery services managers here at Hylosoft. I work with teams to integrate ERP systems to MES systems and also to the control layer as well. I work with PLM software as well to give a total integrated solution for our end clients. Um, first, a brief introduction about our company. Hylosoft is an international IT consulting firm with the global deployment capabilities. As David mentioned, our really <coughs> um, capabilities include MES systems, PLM systems, and control systems. We try to deliver fully integrated solutions to manufacturers across different industries and sectors. Being a global, a global company allows us to work with not only um, local companies in specific regions, but also support the, uh, the larger clientele that need support capabilities throughout the world. And now, before we start getting into the demonstration, I'll just a little bit of background on what OEE is. So what is OEE? The industry standard definition for OEE is overall equipment effectiveness and is broken up uh, by availability, performance, and quality. We also have a tool uh, provided by Siemens, which is downtime management, and that relates to the availability to give you a more defined and detailed reason of why your machines went down. What were the stop reasons for that? So either that being automatically collected from the machines, whether the operators had to manually input in or select what the downtime reasons were, or being a mixed, a mixed and match scenario where some of the fault codes are triggered off the machines while others are manually captured by the operators. Um, the worldwide accepted average for OEE is estimated to be about 40 to 60 percent at plants. However, the best in-class standard is closer to 85%. So that leaves a lot of room to grow for many, many facilities to improve their OE performance. So now we're going to talk about what OE is. OE, like I said, is broken down into availability, performance, and quality. And this is the industry standard definition. Now many companies do have probably their own variables that they use to calculate OE, but if they truly want the real OE value, it's these three metrics. The first being availability. Availability is going to be your actual operating time over your scheduled time. So your scheduled time is you know, what you have planned out for that year, quarter, month that your machines will be up and running versus what they're actually running, taking into account your downtime reasons, or your stops, maintenance, breakdowns, changeover, um, startups, machine jams. All that information is recorded with a downtime management tool. The second metrics is performance, and that's your throughput. Performance is going to be your total pieces made over your theoretical production. So that's going to be your actual values that are coming out of the machines or the, off the line above what your machine or your line should be producing. And the last piece is quality, and quality is an important piece, and a lot of times when we're working with clients, we find out that when they're doing OE calculations, they're just assuming their quality is 100% because they're not able to possibly capture what the good pieces are coming out of the line, off the line or out of the machine versus the total pieces that are actually coming out of the line and off the machine. So without those three factors, values together, you're not going to get an accurate OE value. Um, breaking down more into, uh, into the system, we see that there's we, Siemens OE provides the six big loss categories. That being breakdown, setup and adjustments as part of your downtime loss or your availability. The small stops and reduced speeds, which is speed loss, and that's related to your output or your throughput. And then your quality loss of startup rejects and production rejects related to your quality. And all, these inform all this information is going to be tracked and recorded in real time with the Siemens solution so that you're going to have a better understanding about what's actually happening in your plant. And the more information you can get in real time is going to help you react sooner and better to situations as they come up during the production process. 
many companies might have their own algorithms that they might want to also account for. And um, because of this, Siemens has a whole bunch of other out-of-the-box standard calculations that come with the OE solution to provide more visibility and a better understanding of what's happening during production. However, if the out-of-the-box functionality doesn't meet our client's needs, the tool is capable to be configured with a wizard to allow each company to record and monitor their own algorithms by, by performing calculations on their KPIs that are being collected. The breaking down, going down into the downtime management section of this, <coughs> of this solution, the Siemens product is very configurable as well to meet the, the operating time or the time management of each plant. And with this tool, you can each customer can set what their total time of operation is going to be and can go four levels deep into um, basically what the downtime levels or reasons are going to, are going to be. And the total time is going to be broken up in this example between your, what your scheduled time, so you know your plant is going to be, should be producing, and your idle time, which is time you're already counting for the machines being down. And inside your, inside your actual scheduled time, you're going to further break that down and have other, other time categories being failures, plan maintenance, and again, your operating time when the machine should be up and running in full production. And then, again, you can further break that down into subsequent categories to get a better feel and understanding of what's going on during the production process. In today's demo, we're going to break it down into basically three different parts. The first one here at the bottom is going to be your operator view and, and some of your management view, which is the real-time screens that will give visibility into the production process of what's happening at each line and on each piece of equipment in that line. Uh, the second tool that comes with the OEE solution is reporting. And reports are going to give you an analysis view with different, different dashboards and screens so you can un really understand what's going on and even associate your collected value against you know, uh, cost, cost values to, to understand what's happening in the in the plant during production. And the third, the third part of the demo we'll be showing today is the Siemens Business Intelligence Solution, which is, runs at a higher level to provide real-time dashboards and scorecards of what's, being done what's going on during production process. And this tool can not only be used to understand what's happening at a single plant, but it has the, the capability to aggregate data across many facilities and many plants so that operators or managers can compare and contrast why certain facilities might be running the, running the same product but having a higher OE output. So this tool is really a cross-plant um, analysis solution in real time for making more informed business decisions about the production process or possible, or possible production improvement steps.